Hey y'all, it's your girl Tasha, aka Mama Jim, aka Jim the Butterfly, and I'm here with your Circle of Love. They're back. Your Circle of Love uh, forecast. I'm going to do this as a bi-weekly forecast. So it's a general reading, for one. It's elemental. And um, I already pulled cards for my earth signs, so we'll start with earth signs first, and these will be uh, time-stamped. So they're um, ele elemental, like I said, and it's going to run from October the 16th through October the 31st. Okay, guys? I'm using, instead of the Gilded Tarot, I will be using the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland, and I will still continue to use the Journey of Love cards, okay? Um, so let's just go, to, go ahead and get into it. I'm trying to make these as, trying to flow through them and, and make them as short as possible. Um, so this is for air sign. I'm sorry, earth sign, excuse me. And this is for singles and couples. All right. So just remember that just if, so if you don't have a boo right now, you like, this is the plot of me. Yes, it does. Cause the, the, you have love of the self. You have love of family, you have love of friends. So take a time and watch babes. Okay. So earth signs, you had two cards to pop out. Hmm. Two cards are the darkest fears and win or lose. You in the self position right now is rest and reconsider what's going on with your partner or in your environment. You have, this is uh, believe and succeed, which is also like the six of wands. Then what's going on presently, outwardly right now, things that you can, things that you know are happening um, in and around you. You're dealing with issues of the base chakra or the root chakra and what's going on under the like the foundation of the situation right now is the heart chakra okay and the your journey of love card is the communal the communal dance um what i feel for my earth signs right now is that you're really standing you're like you're at a proverbial crossroad right now as to what should you do regarding a situation? What should you do? Where should you go? How should you go about a certain situation? And I feel like you have, it feels like there's pressure upon you to make a decision. There's pressure upon you to do something, but all you really want to do is rest. All you want to do is to, you just really want to have time to think right now. You really don't know. It's like, you kind of feel like you know what you want to do, but you really don't know what you want to do. And so, um, but I, I keep feeling like there is not a lot of time or you feel you feel pressed as if there's not a lot of time. A lot of you over the next two weeks may be feeling very reclusive. Some of you really just need to rest and get some sleep and get the clarity of thought that you need. Because I feel like with this card here, with this nine, this nine um, which is the darkest fears, you are, you're thinking of all the worst case scenarios. You are thinking of everything that can go wrong. I feel like for some of you, especially if you're in a relationship that things have been pretty rocky, I do feel like for some of you, you're really trying to... to to decide if this is what you want to do. Do you want to continue on? Do you want to move forward with this person? Have you guys built up enough um, love or a stability or foundation? Is your foundation strong enough to move forward or to pick up what you have to continue to move forward? I feel like um, your partner or what's going on in your environment, you know, this is the thing. I feel like right now for those who are in a relationship with someone, I feel like, they are just steady moving and you're the one that's kind of that you you have stopped okay and it makes you feel like you're feeling you you feel left behind and they're not waiting on you right now um i feel like for some of you and i'm gonna just tell you too i feel like some of you are going through a depression and for whatever reason you know i don't know what whatever the reason may be but you may be going through a low period right now and it's your partner is going to pull through. Your partner is going to be that person um, putting that energy, instilling that positive energy like, come on, baby, we got to get this done. We got to go. Come on, let's do it. OK, some of you have you have that you have that support system um, and that's the reason why you're able to rest and reconsider. OK, some of you, um, if this is a, a single person, I do feel like. um I feel like the environment around you is just pushing you forward and you're, you're just wanting some time to yourself to re to recollect your thoughts and your feelings. But I feel like a lot of you, you are, um, 
you're you're giving you're giving energy to things that are not really there. You are worrying about things that haven't even transpired yet. You are um, you're worried. It, it feels like a, a issue of security, and I feel like also with you, you're you're having trouble communicating that because these are two communication cards. You're having trouble communicating that to yourself and to your loved ones, the ones around you. Um, I do feel like some of you earth signs, you have a partner that is just like, you know what? If you don't make a decision, I'm going to leave. Okay. I'm going to make it for you. You know? So I feel like it's that type of issue too, but I feel like somebody's trying to pull you along and try to get you to join on a bandwagon. And you're just like, ah, hold up. Wait a minute. I need time to think because it just makes me feel as if this relationship, or if this is just you, you're trying to move into a new area of your life, but you're, you're still thinking about all the stuff or all the events that have happened up to now. And it's making you very weary about, you're not totally convinced whether you, you feel safe enough to move forward. Okay. Um, what's presently going on again, that struggles with your root chakra. Um, again, like I said, the, the stability of, do you have everything you need in order to let go of your fears to move forward? Same thing with what's going on found with the, within the foundation of the relationship. You know, this, this is really pulling on your heart. This is really pulling on your heart. This is because I feel like for some of you, especially if you're in a relationship type of situation where there may have been some cheating in the past, there may have been, um, some type of betrayal or a disappointment and you're, you're still hurt from that. So it's very hard for you to let go of that hurt out of your heart chakra to open up, to allow yourself to move forward. For my single people, you may have met someone new and this person's person's like, listen, I, I know you are the one for me. I'm the one for you. Let's do this. And you're just like, uh, hold on. But my last relationship, then they're like, I don't care about your last relationship, baby. I don't care. I'm not him. I'm not her. You know, I, I need you to, I need you to understand, you know, I'm willing to wait for a little while, but you know, at the same time, you know, I've been waiting because I feel like for some of you, this has been a, a ongoing issue. Okay. And it's, it's like a back and back is a back and forth type of situation or a breakup to makeup type of situation. And some, somebody want to know, like, are you barbecuing your meal then? What you doing? Okay. Because I, I'm ready. I feel like somebody's ready to take things to the, to the next level, but you're just like, I, I need to wait for a little while. Okay. And that's what I feel like with this communal dance is saying to notice the two people in the middle, they're holding hands. They're trying to walk to a better, to a better, uh, to a better situation. See, like they have, um, I don't know if you guys can really see that in this, but they're people. You see those, I don't know if I can show you, but there are people like, here's one. I don't know if you really, there's one. So it's like, you, this is requiring a coming together. It's requiring a union, either a union of self or a union with your partner to stand as a united front to move forward. But I, again, I feel like there is some apprehension there giving of what has happened in the past, either to you guys together as a couple or you alone. Okay. Let me read. I like to read the, I like these definitions in this book, um, with the communal dance and then we'll finish it up. <sighs> Lover, you have been alone too long. Your community calls you to, sur to surrender your isolation for this moment in time and instead join the cosmic conga line. This Oracle brings you guidance. You are being drawn into a new community that is more aligned with your innate spiritual vibration. You'll feel at home there and be able to share your gifts and talents more freely with a greater support. Let go of relationships or situations that you have been holding on. Oh, wow. On to out of fear. If they're meant to continue with you, they will remain. If not, they will fall away. Creating space for new uh, new connections to come into your life now. This is not a time to hide in what you have known, but be open to playful connection with kindred spirits soon to be met. 
So that's pretty. I like that. Um, if you're looking for stones to help you with your base chakra, I'm being told red jasper tiger's eye. There, of course, there are other stones to help. Um, maybe a garnet. Um, of course, your rose quartz. Rondonite. I like rondonite. Here's my rondonite. Can y'all see it? I feel like one of those girls on one of those makeup one of those makeup tutorials. It's kind of pinkish. I don't know if you guys can really see it. You can see it. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, a magnol calcite is always good. That's kind of a pinkish calcite. Um, but you guys can look up uh, stones that would be good for the, the heart and the base chakra because I feel like a lot of you are really struggling whether to let something go or to hold on to it. And I feel like the I feel like your heart is trying to open and it's trying to have you to, to heal itself, um, heal yourself of this pain, but in order for you to, to accept what's new coming in. But if you're not willing to heal the pain, you can't accept what's new, what's coming in, okay? All right, guys, thank you so much, Earth Signs. That is your reading. Let me shuffle. Next one, I'm hearing fire. Fire. Well, fire, that is your card. So that just threw itself out. Let me. Below the surface. All right. All right, fire signs. Here you are. I might need to jot this down so I know. Hold on, children. All right, fire. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, fire signs. Um, twelve thirty-five. Fire signs. Um, for my fire signs, within the next two weeks, you have the card of move. OK, this is equivalent to the chariot card. I feel like for you, it's time for you to move forward within the situation. It's time for you to, to make up your mind about what you want. Use that fiery energy right now that you possess, not right now, but that you possess to, to catapult you towards what you're wanting out of love right now. I feel like for a lot of you, you're really wanting love, um, whether or not you are single or whether or not you are in a relationship, you want to show love and you want to be given love. And I feel like you're stopping at nothing to get what you want. Um, I feel like what's going on with your partner right now, You have they have the eight of cups or the, the moving on card. Um, or this is what's going on in your environment if you're single. I feel like, I feel like for some of you, you feel like your partner is drifting away from you. I feel like you're you're feeling as if the intimacy is being lost within the relationship or you really don't know how to get it back, but you don't want it to go and you don't want your partner to go. I feel like for some of you, you're feeling as if um, for my singles that you, you just it's the caliber of people that you're that you're meeting. Everyone, no one feels like they're, they're, everybody feels temporary. I guess that's the best way to say it. Everybody feels temporary or they're, they're about self right now. And you have just this strong energy about you where you're really trying to get things done. And it doesn't feel like whether you're single or you're in a, a, a couple situation, people don't feel like they're on the same page. Okay. Um, What's going on above the surface? You have the four of pentacles or um, the open up card. 
I feel like there is an opening coming. I feel like there's a reveal here. And where a part of the reveal, I feel like there's a revealing of feelings, okay? Because like I said, some of you feel like somebody's trying to move away or walk away from a situation. And um, you definitely, I, I feel it. you don't want that. And I feel like for some of you, you're really having to go to this person. Like this person is here. You, you feel like as if you have to, I don't want to use the word chase, but you definitely have to pursue something right now and you're going to have to what this is doing what this is asking for you to do some of you i'm gonna tell you now some of you will have to apologize okay and maybe you're ready to apologize now i feel like for some of you you may not you've been stubborn you didn't want to apologize but and, and they I, I feel like your partner or whoever the, yeah your partner they were they played this little game with you for a little while, but now they're not really feeling like playing that game anymore. And so now you're feeling that energy shift. Um, and you know what I mean for those who are, you know, who've been in relationships where you know you can feel when your partner is in tune with you, but I feel like right now you're feeling things are not in alignment with you and your partner. Or or maybe you're feeling like as if you're not in alignment with the people who are approaching you or who you're talking to right now, who you're dating. Um, <clears throat> or just, you know, you're not in alignment with the, the environment, what's going on in uh, around you. And so it's, it's, it's bringing you to a point where you have to make a choice uh, about what you're doing. And I feel like for some of you, you're choosing to go after what you want. OK, and the way that you're going to have to do that, if you've been very close lipped about how you feel about a situation, I feel like you're being stubborn. You're being stubborn and what you end up doing is you're pushing this person away, okay? I feel like within the next two weeks, you're going to be opening up, telling them how you feel. Listen, I love you. I don't want your ass to go. You know you're the only is one for me, boo. I love you. You know you love me. Let, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, tell me how I can fix it. Seriously. And... I feel like for you, especially if you have said these things before and you really didn't make much changes, you just said it because you knew you could get this person back. You're really going to be saying it now um, and meaning what you're saying. You're really trying to make this thing work because I feel like it hit you that they may just leave me. Or you may, it may be as opposite. You know, it could be, it could go the other way around. Um, maybe they are just saying that you would actually leave them. You know, I feel like for those who are single, I feel like you're really opening up. If you have, if you've been that type of person, if you're dating and, um, you just, this person that you, it feels almost like it's not unrequited love, but it feels like you don't know. You've been putting up this front. I feel like this person has been coming, coming at you and trying to pursue you. And you just been just kind of having them there and entertaining them a little bit, but keeping them at arm's length. And now they're not as interested. They're not answering those calls as, as, as quick as they used to. They're not texting you back as quick as they used to. You know, they're not doing these things. They're not showing their interest in you anymore because you were not showing your interest in them. And so now you're starting to feel like, oh, okay, they're, they're drifting apart. Let me straighten my ass up and tell this person, boy, woman, man, whatever, how I feel. Because this is a good person. I don't want to lose this person. Okay? What's going on beneath the surface, the healing begins. Okay? Um, I feel, again, I do feel like for a lot of you, you've really been thinking about this. Like, you know what? I need to stop. Let me, let me, I need to make amends. This is, uh, the, the six of swords. Maybe for some of you, you said something that was really harsh. You know, it could be something just as simple as that, but I do feel like there's some type of makeup coming. Okay. And I love the card for the journey of love It's the, let the feminine lead the way because Using whether you're male or female fire signs, we all possess feminine energies. For those who follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted something there today. And this is what that that's talking about. Uh, utilizing that feminine energy, opening up. That's exactly what's going on right now. There's an opening up on um, on each 
from you and from your partner, because I do feel like um, if you take the time to put your fears to the side and open up and reveal and talk about what's going on in the relationship instead of acting as if nothing is going on or trying to sweep something under the rug, I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised in the reaction that you get because I feel like this person is ready to talk about it. I feel like they're, but they're also ready to move on too. But if you, if you make this attempt, I feel like they would open up and talk to you. Okay. Um, let me read what this says. Let the feminine lead the way. The feminine is that softer side, that intuitive side, that receptive, be receptive, be receptive to what this person has to say. Cause maybe this person has something to say to you. You've been pushing them off, but you have to be receptive to what they have to say. Listen, listen from your heart as opposed to listening with your mind and with an intent to reply. Okay. Really feel what this person has to say, because I'm going to tell you, I, I keep feeling like this person really doesn't want to move away. Doesn't want to move forward. But again, they will because they do have love for themselves and they're not going to be treated any old type of way. And not to say that you out there doing all type of crazy stuff to them, but I feel like they feel they, de they deserve respect too. Or they deserve love too. And they've been given it. They don't really, they don't know where they're going, but they, they have to move forward. OK, and I feel like for a lot, I feel like for them, especially for those um, who are in a, a married situation or, yeah, I feel married. I feel like they're kind of waiting on you. Could be a committed relationship too. one of the two. I actually, I'll, no, yeah, one of the two. I feel like this person is like just waiting because notice. They're walking. I don't know if you can see the footsteps in the sand. They're walking and he just stopped. So it's like, it's almost as if they're trying to give you time to catch up. But, you know, you have to move faster than this, boo. All right. Let me look at this 39. Mm, mm. Mm. The feminine principle in you, whether man or woman, is the way forward in your life right now. She is the principle of feeling of surrender. She feels the intelligent intelligence of the divine God and light in the way that the masculine principle cannot at this time. You may not see where you're going, therefore, but you feel, but you can feel your way forward. Trust her. Let your mind go and let your senses lead you, becoming more exquisite and communicative. Be led by your heart. Do not worry if you do not know all the details yet, <coughs> excuse me, yet, or how it's going to work out. She knows the way and let her lead it. Um, this oracle brings confirmation to you that what you have been feeling or sensing without any logical, physical evidence is worth following up on. Trust your senses over appearance, appearances. Trust your intuition over your intellect. You are letting feminine wisdom guide you and she will steer you in the best direction. What did I tell you? I'm telling you, some of y'all feel this person leaving. This person means something to you. You need to be, don't play these games because I'm telling you now, there are people out here, but I feel like for some of you, especially um, a, a married, long-term committed relationship, this person has been there for you. And you really look at it, you, you're not really going to find anybody else like that. Not to say you can't find anybody else, but I feel like this person is, is more special to you than your, the relationship, not even just the person, the relationship is more special to you than what you give credit. And I would hate for you to allow someone to walk out of your life due to pride and stubbornness because you cannot admit that you are wrong or um, you're being dismissive or you're not opening yourself up and being vulnerable. This is a, anytime is a beautiful time to be vulnerable with your partner. And this is, if you don't do it now, I'm telling you, I feel it strongly. Some of y'all going to be alone by winter. I'm just saying, okay. It ain't for everybody, but you know, in the situation I'm talking, for those who, you know who I'm talking about, I feel like it's, it's telling you, you got to get the fire up under your ass if you want this person. Because, I, you know, take a look at yourself. Take a look, take a look at yourself because you know what? They may have faults, but you are not faultless. All right. I'm not trying to fuss, but I'm just telling you what I feel. You're not faultless either. And it, this relationship can be salvaged if you want it to be. All right. Whew. That's a heavy one, fire signs. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all next month.
water signs. That one just fell out for you. Oh, water signs. Cards just trying to pop all out for y'all. Hold on. Get your journey of love, water signs. And that just popped out. You have She is the Moon for your journey of love card. You have the, the crown chakra to pop out. I feel like y'all are trying to put some pieces together. Yes, you're trying to come together within a relationship. Um, I feel like I feel like this is good. the next two weeks for you guys. Water signs. Sorry, I had to write down the time. Water signs. Um. Everything is going to start to make sense. Whatever's been feeling uh, confusing is going. To, you're going to be able to put the pieces together. You're going to be able to understand why something happened the way that it happened, and you're going to reach this point of healing again. I feel like for some of you, your your faith is going to be restored within a relationship. Your faith is going to be restored within yourself. I feel like. Um, your faith is going to be restored within whatever belief system that you you um what's the word i'm looking for uh you you uh, i'm just going to say like coincide with the you know you know what i'm saying um because now you have an understanding you have a greater understanding of why what why something happened the way that it happened questions will be answered i feel like for some of you um you may be hearing from your an ex you may be hearing your partner side of the story i feel like you may be um it, it's coming for some some of you is coming in via text is coming in via email you may be seeing it facebook i feel like for some of you um and, and, and it's not like you're going to get the apology or whatever it, you're not getting it from via email, but I feel like somebody's reaching out to you this over the next two weeks. Part of the reason why they're reaching out to you, and I'm sorry, guys, I didn't show you your cards. You are the Blossom card, which is, I think that's the, the Judgment card. Um, let me just make sure. Um, which is, this is about a transformation. Something is coming about for you. There's an awakening. I believe that's the Judgment card. Don't get me. I never... Yeah, it is just. Um, oh yeah, that was a twenty on top, Tasha Doll. Okay, so yeah, you. I like the way she's looking at this light, this this orb. It to me is like the orb of truth. She's, you're understanding yourself more. You're understanding, like I said, why something happened, and there was growth here. Okay, I feel like if you have somebody coming back. They're going to see you as a different person. You're not the same person that they left. I don't care if, if y'all just had a small spat two weeks ago, a week ago, two days ago. By the time this person, you, you have a chance to reconcile. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm the nurse on call this weekend. Wait a minute.
Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What's the date of birth? And phone number. Mm hmm Okay, thank you. Okay, we're fine. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, I feel like You, you have a better understanding of yourself and what you want out of a relationship. So this person coming back, you're going to, I feel like you're going to be laying it down. Like, this is what I want. Okay. If you're coming back and we're going to try to work on it, this is what we're going to have to, this is, this is what I envision between me and you. I feel like you, you will be able to come back to report to them what you've learned and what your observations were. I feel like now at the same time, I feel like they have had observations and they're willing to be, um, I feel like they're. It feels like there's a coming together between you and this person. Um, I feel like if you're not in a relationship, I feel like now that you have left a situation or if you've been a, a single for a while, I feel like things are going to start to move faster for you. I feel like if you've been looking for love, I feel like uh, you may get some some contenders. Somebody somebody's coming in, offering up, even at the very minimum friendship. But there's some interest. I feel like for some of you, you have somebody watching you, that has been very very interested in you, and they've been watching your transformation. Okay, this may be even a close friend, um, but it, it feels like to me they're ready to just, um, they're ready. They're ready to say, they're ready to express their interest, but they need some type of signal from you. Okay. Um, what's going on beneath the surface? Again, I like this. Trust the fool card. Um, you are ready to get back there, out there in the dating field. That's what some of you, you know, you've healed from a past relationship and you're ready to get back out there. And you may start getting, going out dating. Some of you are just start. I feel like for some of you, you're just going to take the step of just going out of the house and just being someplace. Because I feel like for some of you, all you do is go to work, you go to home, you go home. You do, you go to the grocery store, you do what you have to do and you come right home. You don't do anything extra, extra curricular. Um, but that's changing now, okay? Because you're healing and a part of your healing is for you to keep yourself open and to expose yourself. Look at the healing card. You're opening yourself. You're releasing the change. You're releasing the bonds. And you're living from your center. You're living from your heart center now. And I feel like the reason why you're able to do that is because you know that you're divinely protected. You know that you're protected and you're trusting your intuition to, to lead you the to lead you where you need to go. And you know that you're not going to steer yourself wrong. Okay. Um, with this, she is the moon card. This is you. Uh, again, embracing your feminine energy, allowing your intuition there. You still have another moon here. Allowing your, um, you, I like this card. Y'all know I'm all over the place, but it, I like the fact that you have, the, the sun here, I, I guess it's like a sun in the judgment card. And then you also have the moon here in your journey of love card. So it's like you're protected 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You have the truth by day. You have the truth by night. I feel like for some of you, you've been receiving dreams that, you know, it's time for you to move forward. I feel like if this is not a person coming, like if you're single, and this person, you haven't talked to this person in a while. I feel like this person has been coming to you in your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams because um, I feel like they've been really speaking. The veil is very thin right now. And I feel like um, you've been receiving messages about this situation or about this person. Um, I feel like for some of you, if you have a person that has been interested in you, you like all before you were oblivious to this person in their interest in you. And just one day it's going to hit you like, oh, my God, 
they have been hitting on me all this time and I never I just I, I didn't I didn't put it together. So if there's a person that you've been interested in and you think that they have may, may, may have been interested in you, um, you may have to give them that little stare that you, you know, you may not want to open up and say, because some of y'all feel like you're a little shy. So you may not want to open up and just say, I know you like me. You've been looking at me. You may not want to do that. But I feel like if you're interested in them, you can use your eyes. You can use your body language to express that. Yeah, I, I I noticed that you've been noticing me, and yeah, I'm I'm interested. You know what to do. Bat your eyes. He <laughs> you bat your eyes. Um, look at them. Maybe you want to stare at them just a little bit longer than normal. You know, to see, because I feel like this person just keeps looking like I'm just waiting. Just give me the word. Like, let me in, coach. I just just let me in. If you just just tell me, I, I'm I'm there. So um, yeah. Let me read what the she is the, is the moon card says. Number 25. <laughs> the light of the moon ebbs and flows. The wisdom of patience is not about waiting around for something to happen, happen rather than getting up and getting it done. Um, your message comes through this oracle. Your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. If you feel something is, isn't happening fast enough or happening quickly and you are unsure if you're really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you would like to, to, and you would like for it to be so, the clarity you seek will come. Do not worry. Do not try to force the insight. Just be with what is happening now and trust. Trust. You are moving and growing and all is well. So soon you will see that for yourself, just as the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of the deepest night. So like I said, when you're ready, I feel like this person is ready to um, express their interest. If this is a person um, that you've been wanting to reconcile with, I feel like you it's, the energy is there for you to reconcile with this person, okay? To at least talk about what happened, the the who, what, when, where's, and why's, and, you know, talk about yourself. Because I feel like for, it could be a very specific situation, but I feel like it didn't have much closure. Like, you guys just kind of separated and um, didn't have a chance to really talk about why things happen. And I feel like it had to do, like, over some he said, she said, Somebody made some type of assumption and just took it and just flew. And it but and it feels like years have passed. This is not like a recent thing for some of you. Um, I feel like this is a person that could be coming back from your past long time ago. Eight months to eight years. But it's time now. You know, they've been watching you too. Maybe you've still been Facebook friends or something like that over the over the years. You know, it could be that type of deal too. That, you know, you guys have been um, just been friends, but they've been watching you and they just they're just ready for you to just say something, you know. So you could talk about it. All right. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Know that you protect the guys. This is a seven. This is this is your inner your inner wisdom. You know, this is you knowing that. All is well, and if it doesn't feel right, you're not going to do it. You know, if it feels right, you are going to do it. And I feel like if it feels right, it's for a reason for you. All right. So, um, yeah, fire signs. I'm sorry. Cup signs, water signs, <laughs> water signs. This is good for you, though. All right. Let's moving on to air. Air signs. Self. I'm doing a reading. Can you come back, please? Let's see what your journey of love card is, air signs. Mm. 
Yay! Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I did shuffle. Okay. Um, air signs. Air signs, I believe, for you, where you are right now. Excuse me, guys. I'm just trying to write down your time. 4, 8, 15. Um, you are coming up in the position of the Ace of Cups. You're opening yourself up again, okay, to love. I feel like for some of you, you may have... Um, You're, there's a readiness that I feel um, for you right now. You're ready to try love again. You're ready to deepen. If you're in a relationship with someone, I feel like you're ready to take this to another another level. I feel like um, if this is someone who is single, seven of swords, and you know what? I, I'm tell you, for those who are single, I feel like you're you're doing a lot of reading right now, a lot of self help books, self improvement books, books. You're taking up interest. You're 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 reading about things that interest you right now. In the meantime, I feel like you're rediscovering yourself. I feel like for those who are in a relationship with someone, I feel like you're you're really trying to. I feel like they are really trying to understand you just as much as you're trying to understand them. Okay, and because the the both of you are working towards that same type of energy, it's it's bouncing off each other because you're trying to take you're opening yourself up and you're being vulnerable you're 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 allowing yourself some of you are really like an open book right now and you're allowing yourself to feel and be emotional i feel like your partner is feeding off of that and they they can't get enough of you they are just they they want to just open you up and just learn as much as they can about you you really interest this this person right now um I feel like for some of you, and it can go again. I'm reading for, I'm reading for you know a, a lot of people, um, and I'm gonna just tell y'all. I feel like some of your partners are like snooping, and it's not. I don't feel like they're doing it because, and I'm not condoning it, okay. But what I'm saying is, I feel like this person is snooping. Because they want to know as much as they can about you. Yeah, somebody's Google searching you. Somebody's Spokio searching you. Somebody's whatever type of pages, whatever they have. I feel like they're looking you up. And I feel like they're, it's like they, it's almost as if they cannot believe that you're as good as you are. They're trying to make, they're trying to find some type of flaw, but they can't. Um, I don't feel like they mean any harm. I don't feel like they mean any harm by it, but I feel like they're really trying to get in there. I feel like for some of you, you may feel as if this person is really trying to probe your brain. I feel like you're going to have a lot of engaging conversations um, over the next two weeks. If, if you have a person in mind or a person that you've been dating or talking to, um, maybe it's you doing the sneaking, um, spying on somebody. I can see that too, because this is what's going on in your environment. You may be hearing of some information about a person that you were interested in. Um, you're trying to get to the to the very um, meat of a situation. I feel like what's going on below the surface with the master card. This is associated with the devil card, but it is um, for some of you. This sneaking. I feel like this, like sneaking or spying that this person may be doing or that you may be doing, I feel like it's because you're, there's a fear here that this person is not as good or not, I'm not going to say not as good. They, they're, they're, it, the person feels perfect. I guess is the only way I can say it. They feel perfect. Like they, they feel right. This feels right. And you don't want to be wrong again. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're you've been you've dealt with uh, been in codependent relationships, and you don't want to fall prey to that again. Uh, I'm gonna get another card. Yeah, you you're trying to. It's like you're trying to. I get the lead card, which is like the emperor. I feel like you're trying to find fault, but you can't find fault. Okay, or maybe they're trying to find fault, but they can't find fault. 
Um, which only in return just kind of, I, I honestly feel as if it's making this person fall in love with you or, or have the, allow their interest to deepen in even further. I feel like they hear nothing but good work. If they do find people that like, you know, mutual friends, I feel like these people have nothing but good things to say about you. So, um, I feel like they're trying to get control of their emotions. I feel like maybe you're trying to get control of your emotions, but this is what's going on underneath the surface. I don't feel like you're showing this or they're showing this um, above above the surface, okay? Because I have the shine card. Uh, you know, if this is a situation where definitely you met, you just met somebody, um, you want to be as honest as you can. Be honest as possible. Just be honest. Because um, I feel like your honesty is going to be your, your honesty and your openness about who you are, what you've been through, where you, where you plan to go, you know, what drives you, what moves you that turns this person on. Okay. I don't feel like, it, I feel like if you try to like keep something secret, I feel like it's going to end up coming out anyway. So you might as well just open up and just tell it. And I feel like this person is not going to hold it against you. Um, I feel like if anything, it will make them like you more because you're just like, I am who I am. I be who I be. And it's just going to be what it is. Love me and leave me alone. And I feel like that's good. Okay. I feel like they're going to be like, dang, you know, because you're not being constrained by, so it's like, there is a, there's a refusal to be constrained by society and what society, societal norms is the feeling. And, you know, you, you come off to this person or you come off to people as an enigma. You come off as a mystery to them. They really want to know what drives your heart. And I feel like you, you're going to be drawing in people this, these next two weeks, whether romantic or just platonic, but people are drawn to you because they, they, you're just so open and you're so free and you just, you're authentic. And I feel like you really should um, celebrate yourself because you are right where you need to be, air signs. And I feel like some people um, wish, they may even be telling you that, like they wish that they could have that feeling of authenticity about their life or realness. I keep hearing realness and raw, like they just, people are really revering you these next two weeks because of who you are. And it's like... Of course, we all have flaws, but I feel like for some people, you come off as being flawless. I'm sorry. I thought something, yo. I saw, it was my folder. I thought something, <laughs> I thought something was on me and I don't know why, but it just, it didn't feel right. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I feel like you're drawing people into you because you just, you're just unapologetically you. OK, and people are going to be falling in love with you. The, the more they, they get to know your story and who you are, the more they can't help but get to know it, to love you. OK. <laughs> and I ain't editing that out either. I'll let y'all. Well, yeah, I, I just want to see my eyes. I know my eyes got to be like that. Already. Like, <laughs> but anyway, she is the moon. I just read this for um water sign. Yeah, your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. Um, if you feel something isn't happening fast enough or happening quickly and you are unsure if you're really needy, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you would like for it to be so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Do not worry. Do not try to force it. Like I said, you know, there is, I feel like there are answers. I feel like questions are going to be asked, tough questions. And you may not want to be as honest. I feel, I feel like to some of you may not want to be honest. You may you may want to kind of smooth it over, but I feel like just just say it. Whatever it is, just say it to this person. Or maybe you have to say it to just to yourself. Um, I'm sorry, I had a slip of, a slip of mind. Just just be willing to open up. And talk about it and put it all out there. That's what the shine card is like the sun card. That's that's what it's talking about. Just open up and, and tell the truth and be honest 
and come from a place of honesty and 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 realness. And I feel like people are really going to in a way it's like you're breaking your own you're breaking a code for yourself. You're breaking a chain for yourself, not code, a chain with this MasterCard. Um, I feel like for some of you had a, a deep feeling of you so you you deal with feelings of rejection, feelings of abandonment, and um, you you're afraid to open up and reveal your fears because I feel like in some instances it been in the past that it's it was used against you in a negative way, but I don't feel like this person is trying to do that. Um, and I feel like what you're really doing is showing them that it's okay to trust. And you'll be surprised what you're going to find out too. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like this, uh, week, next two weeks for you guys, air signs. Um, you have to let me know how this works out. So these are all of your circle of love. I'm going to, um, try to get this back started in November. God, it's already November y'all. Um, so I just want to say thank you. And if any of this resonates, <clears throat> Please check out my information down at the bottom. Thanks. Bye.